Hey guys, my wife E2 here back to show off even more plunder that I have acquired here recently. Um, got some stuff in the mail today, including some stuff I ordered directly from the bands, as well as a small order from Comatose. Um, I've still got a bunch of stuff on the way, stuff that I've also pre ordered. So, you know, I believe it was a. Uh, Necrotic Nick or Thralls of Metal pretty much sums it up best is that I just can't stop buying metal. I just, you know, it's a big part of my life, so I just, I can't help myself. But, uh, yeah, still got Pegasus going on in the background. But, yeah, let's get started with what we uh, rated here. First two are from the same band. Order these directly off of the band. That is uh, Voracious Scourge with their debuted EP, Our Demise. Um, for some reason, I was thinking that I already had this but I really wasn't sure. And, um, you know, a lot of my stuff is still kind of boxed up because um, of redoing my rooms upstairs and everything else. So I had to box up a bunch of stuff. So I really wasn't going to try to dig through the boxes and see if I actually had this. And even if I did, I mean, it was five bucks on sale. So I wasn't going to pass it up for five dollars in case I didn't have it. And uh, also picked up their latest album in death. Again, some really killer artwork on both of these. And I really love the band's logo. Uh, they had talked about having signed copies of these at one point. But I hadn't heard anything else. So I guess if they ever actually put up signed copies, I'll probably end up picking up another copy. Because you know me and autographs. I just can't resist. And uh, sent me a nice little sticker, which would definitely be getting put to use. Another one I ordered directly off of the band. This is a Seep with souvenirs of a necro sadist uh really sick looking artwork there just some filthy sounding death metal uh this is actually released on savard records so yeah can't wait to listen to uh this again i've listened to it on youtube but uh or actually try to say their band camp so it'd be nice to actually listen to it uh even more now they also threw in a uh, free patch, so that's really cool. And we got a uh, Gurgling Gore Death Metal the Old Way sticker, so that's pretty cool. And now on to uh, the comatose stuff. I did the uh, buy three, get one free. So I'll th uh, show off the freebie first, which is actually a brand new release on comatose. That is the debut EP from Slit Your Gods entitled Dogmatic Convictions of Human Decrepitude. Uh, really sick artwork right there. Uh, I've listened to a little bit of this. Uh, they put up a song from it a while back when they were advertising that this was coming out, and it sounded really nasty. Uh, I believe these guys are Italian, and it's just uh, three tracks, so I might actually give this a review at some point, so you never know. And uh, got a sticker. And then the first one that I actually bought, um, this is the one that made me make this order to begin with because I did not realize this had been reissued and I was very excited to see it in the new arrivals. And that is Heavy Lies the Crown, Gears of Gears of Inhumanity. I thought I was going to say that. Couldn't remember the title there for a second. But yeah, absolutely killer. Uh, death metal. I think they might even be kind of death ish a little bit from here in Indiana and uh, been after this for a long long time now and it's been out of print but uh, as I said I was going through the new arrivals like I do pretty much every day on Comatose because it's sporadic how they you know put up new arrivals and I saw this in there and I was like holy shit I did not realize this has gotten a reissue so I had to jump up on it and uh, picked up a uh, 2020 release I believe it is from uh, Unmatched Brutality. This is a uh, Decarabian with Bastard Son of Divinity. Absolutely killer artwork. I love that artwork. And uh, the music that I've listened to from this has actually been really good. So, looking forward to checking out the rest of it. It says on here this is a 2020 release. Yep, 2020 release. So, yeah. Another album to... Uh, check out from this year and last but not least i finally picked up one of the two uh, blood freak albums that i was missing and that is mind scraper of course you know just some filthy death grind featuring maniac neil uh, this is one of his many many projects that he's been involved in 
So yeah, just need one more album and I will finally have a complete Blood Freak collection. So yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.